What's going on, everybody? This is Gary B. Jr. And today I'm going to show you how to remotely control your show from the stage view while you're on stage. All right. So we're going to start off with an actual um, stage view setup. So I've got a stage view set up here that's got a current slide, a next slide, a uh, speaker timer, the progress on each slide, and then just a random uh, text box for alerts and notifications and things like that. If you want to understand how I made this, feel free to check out um, my stage view setup video and uh, it'll give you all the rundown on how to create something like this. But today we're going to talk about how to allow your pastor, your leader, your worship leader, whoever it is to control their slides while looking at the stage view, maybe on a tablet on the podium or even on a computer uh, as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create some actions that are going to transition to the next slide. All right. And so we can go to next slide um, and or to the previous slide. All right. So let's do uh, let's go back to our show. We're going to go to actions and we're going to do new action at the bottom here. And we're going to call this one next slide. And we're going to say choose action and we're going to simply make a go to the slide options here and select next slide. All right. And it's literally called next slide, which is great. So we're going to save that and then we'll make another one. We'll call it previous. Slide. We're going to choose an action as well. And we're going to select the option that says previous slide. And that's that. This is important because we're going to use those actions to actually allow them to press those actions from their tablet on these options here. So if I could select this particular box, the next slide text, what I want to be able to do is I want them to click on that and it'll actually advance them to the next slide. So we're going to go to the text box and let's see if we can do something like that. Mm, align text. So we won't do it this way. What we'll do is we'll make a box. We'll make this here. And we'll make this one be just the same size. And we'll make a, a button in the middle that just says next and previous. All right. So I'm going to go back to my items and we're going to select a text box. And we're going to bring this in here. We'll put that one there and then we'll make a duplicate of this. Let's do another text box here. We're going to make it the same size as that one. All right. So this one is going to be next. And then this one will be previous. All right, so we'll make this one be like a green box in the background. And the reason why this is important because our text boxes have this option called special. All right, we'll get back to that. So I'm going to kind of color code this one. So we're going to do green for next. And then the text we're going to type in there. It says next now, but we're going to make it fit in there. So we'll make it a lot smaller. We'll make it say next slide. All right. And then this one, we'll make it say previous slide. And it'll be the same thing. We'll make the text a lot smaller in here. And I'm just making it to where I know it'll fit. So that was at 62. We'll make this one be like at 50 because previous slide I knew it was going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. So it just runs over. All right. All right. So previous slide is here. I'm going to pull that down. All right, I want to kind of shift it over. All right, and I want this one to actually be like an orange background. So it's not something they would automatically click. Now we're going to select this same text box. We're going to go to text and we're going to select this option that says special. And the press action is going to go to next slide, which is our actions that we actually already set up. So we select next slide here. And then on this one, we're going to go to our press action 
and we're going to go to previous slide, which is an action we set up here as well. All right. And so now you've got this option. They can see their slides and they can see it. And we're basically making like an interactive um, text box. All right. For them. So even though this looks weird on a stage view, it's something that really is a button that they can use on their tablet or wherever it is. All right. So now let's look at um, what that would be like in real life. All right. I'm going to try to show this screen here. Hold on. All right. So this is my speaker stage. And I'm going to start recording here on my phone so you can see I'm going to go to the speaker stage on the remote connections and the text is all weird, but let me do something real quick. Let me see if I can make this be fit and fit. All right, there we go. All right, so now I can see my text boxes a lot better. If I click on this next slide button, it automatically takes them out and let me close this out the way. It takes them to the next slide and all they're doing is navigating on the slide shot can go back to the previous slide and you can see the slide progress changing here uh, on the bottom right because that or the bottom left I'm sorry because that's our slide progress and you can see that it is actually changing and allowing them to maneuver between the slides and that's changing on this screen and also on the separate connection screen that they would be on for their stage view to see their notes, their songs, uh, whatever it is. So if they want to control it, they can do the same thing from a tablet. It would just be a touch screen. So they would just be tapping the screen. So hopefully you like that and can use that and make use of that for your ministry. And maybe your pastor wants to uh, control the slides a little bit easier for their comfort level. And uh, this would be a good way to do it. All right. Until next time, I'm Gary B. Jr. Talk to you later.